Welcome back to Rudy's 1-6 World for another First Thoughts video. And today we're ending another week with a new Hot Toy Star Wars announcement from the Bad Batch animated series. And it is the Team Sniper uh, Crosshair, who they have been teasing for a while. Now before we dig into the figure, full disclosure, I have not watched the Bad Batch at all and just have a passing knowledge of the team. But I did think the figure uh, looked great and it's something that piqued my interest. He is also up for pre-order now at Sideshow uh, and looks at like his uh, US price is going to retail around 270 which honestly seems pretty reasonable for what you're getting here and comparing him to some of the recent Hot Toys releases. So, uh, Also, I should go on the record. Um, noting that I have mentioned that I'm not a huge fan of the Constant Trooper releases. However, like I mentioned, this figure looks very different and very unique. And when Hot Toys does something unique like this, like they've done with all the Bad Batch figures, you know, they really stand out. And that's something that definitely I find appealing and makes this guy, you know, puts him on my radar a little bit as something that I might be interested in getting at some point in time. Now, jumping into the figure itself, I, I think he looks great. The armor looks incredibly well done here. Uh, the paint applications are, are great. The color scheme, the, the gray and red, definitely pop and, and make him stand out. And like I mentioned, the weathering detailing all over. He's clearly not your typical pristine trooper. I also do like the details on the shoulder pauldrons, especially the uh, the decal for the heavily weathered skull. Again, it's just something that sets him apart from all the other troopers. Same goes for the helmet. I love the crosshair symbol over the visor uh, and it really stands out. He, his helmet also does have, it looks like an antenna, but it is an eyepiece uh, similar to the Boba Fett um, and the Manda. No, not the Mando doesn't have it actually, but similar to the Boba Fett uh, eyepiece. So hopefully this one also drops over his eye, but I. I don't see that in any of the shots, but I can't imagine that Hot Toys wouldn't do that. Now, as far as the unmasked sculpt, I think this looks really impressive. I mean, the paint applications here, the texturing, the details on his facial hair, the wrinkles, uh, his eyes, his hair, it, they're all incredibly done. And even the tattoo work for the crosshairs over his eye, they really stand out. The one interesting here, thing here, I think, is the toothpick. It does seem to be permanently affixed to the sculpt. It does look great, no, no doubt denying that, but I would have liked it if that piece could have been removable. Although, and again, it, it's such a small piece, it would have probably been the first thing that you lose. So just a personal thought, but nothing that detracts at all from the total package here. The other thing I really like here is the sniper rifle. It's a modular design, so you can modify with different muzzle attachments, which I think is great from a display perspective since you can alter the, the appearance of the figure and how he looks like on your display. I also do like the backpack. Everything attaches via magnets, including the gun, so you can store it nicely and still display the figure. And the backpack itself just looks great. It's a little bulky and it just has some impressive weathering and detailing. And again, it's something that sets him apart. So overall thoughts, I think this figure is really impressive. The unhelmeted sculpt really does stand out here and I think it's top notch work from Hot Toys. But beyond that, I think the package as a whole looks great with all the accessories he comes with, the weapons. He's a standout figure really. And that is the name of the game here. It's really uniqueness and that's what sets him apart. And again, that's just me looking at him as a figure not knowing much about his role on the show. So if he stands out for me, I'm sure that if you're a fan of the show, that's something that's much more impressive. Uh, and again, I think the price is fairly reasonable here for what you're getting. So for me, something to keep an eye out on, not a day one pre-order, but definitely something that if, if I can get a good deal for him or I get an opportunity to pick him up later on, uh, I'll definitely probably jump on it. Now, are you interested in getting him? And if you have, have you seen The Bad Batch? A and for someone like me who hasn't watched it yet, is it worth watching? I have so much on my queue these days, I'm still trying to catch up on a ton of things, so let me know if I should move this to the front of the list. And as always, if you are enjoying the content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll touch base on the next video.